Here are our two pattern pieces. I've got my front and my back of my everyday tee. Now, if your pattern has a length and a shortened line on it, you can go ahead and trace that. The everyday tee doesn't have that on the pattern piece, but it's super, super easy to find. On a top, you are going to go just about at the high waist. So you can tell that that's kind of the furthest in point. And what I am gonna do to create that line is I'm gonna line this up so that I know that I'm creating a perpendicular line. I'm gonna move my ruler so that it is straight and I'm just gonna make a line straight across. And then just to make sure that I'm keeping everything even, I'm going to put my back on top of my front, line up that center seam there and the shoulder, and I'm just gonna trace over that same line so that I know that my lengthen and shorten line is at the same point. So our patterns that are based on the curvy body type are based on a height of five foot five inches. So any difference from five five, you're going to add or subtract half of an inch. Now the reason you do that is because that's assuming that half of that height is in the top half of your body. body. So for a t-shirt, that would be um, the top half, of course. And then if you were doing pants, you would add another half an inch or subtract your half inches from the pants. So rather than doing a full inch for every inch difference, you're doing a half inch. I hope that makes sense. So if I was going to adjust our pattern, say I was a height of five, six, that is a one inch difference. And so I am gonna add half of an inch to my t-shirt. Now, you can just do this using a scrap piece of paper. And so what I'm gonna do is just take a piece here and I'm gonna line that up. And I always like to use washi tape when I'm doing this so I can make adjustments again in the future rather than taping it all together. But it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna make sure that this is parallel along this side and tape. And then using my mat, or you can also use a ruler, I'm gonna look up half of an inch and place this piece half of an inch higher. And then I'm also gonna make sure that that distance is equal here and here so it's equal all the way across. And then all you're gonna do is even out that side gap here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that. And now you have adjusted your pattern for height. This is the same if you're gonna go shorter. So I'll just peel that off. Now say that I was five foot four inches. Now we need to subtract half of an inch. So instead, I'm gonna overlap. I'll get this extra piece out of the way. I'm gonna line that up nice and straight. I'm gonna overlap this half of an inch and make sure it's half of an inch on this side. Perfect, and then this top piece is a little bit wider, so if I wanted to keep that adjustment, then I'm just gonna tape this and just trim that off so it's nice and even. Now, you always wanna remember, make these same adjustments to your front and your back piece. Okay, so what I wanna to do today is actually lengthen our t-shirt into kind of a long tunic mini dress length. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use this same um, heighten and shorten line and then I'm gonna take my uh, tracing paper, and what I did to estimate how long I want this to be is I put a tape measure on myself right at my natural waist, and I measured how long I wanted that total length to be. So I want my total length to be about 19 inches. Scoot this up so you can see that. 
So I'm gonna make sure that this goes down to about that length. Now the nice thing about uh, doing something like this with a more relaxed style of pattern is it's gonna be really easy to adjust this later if it does end up to be a little bit too long. So all we have to do is fill in this gap with paper. My 19, so we have three and three quarters inches and three and three quarters inches here. Now I can't measure 19 from here because of course it does go up on the side and that wouldn't be even. So I wanna make sure that that gap is even all the way across and then I'll just line this one up. And throw one more piece of tape on there just to make it nice and secure so it doesn't scoot around on me. And then we'll do like we did before and just even that out. And I'm just going to cut off this extra here. Perfect. So now we have lengthened that into kind of a long tunic mini length and I'm going to make this same adjustment to my back piece. And all I'm gonna do is use the same distance because the hem on the back of this dress is longer in the back. So we wanna make sure that we're adding the same amount so that our side seams match up rather than measuring from the bottom because the bottom of the back is a lot longer. So you just wanna make sure when you're making these adjustments that everything stays even. side seams before we sew just to show you that because we lengthened the same distance on the front and back these line up perfectly and that's what's important when you are making adjustments like this and hacks and things like that is that your side seams still need to line up so those are looking good we'll go ahead and get this pinned and sewn together and then I'll show you the finished product questions about sewing with double brushed poly it's a really common fabric to sew with so I wanted to just show you guys a little bit of troubleshooting that I was doing now I, sh I sewed the um, shoulder seam and I'm getting a little bit of waving here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and rip this seam back out because I want to make sure that this shirt maintains the structure and isn't really sloppy so all I do to rip serger um, seams is pull out always trim the ends it makes that a lot easier and then you pull out your needles first your needle threads so one needle thread and it doesn't really matter which one you do first I kind of find that the the um, inner one is a little bit easier to rip because it's got less tension on it um, so you're gonna rip both of your needle threads because those are the straight ones. So it's kind of like basting, they come out pretty easily. And then your loopers just pull right off. And I find that to be a much faster, much easier way to uh, rip your serger seams. Okay, so what I did is I actually, and I just did this right before um, I came on camera, is I increased my differential feed right here from one up a couple of notches. That means it's gonna feed the fabric through faster because when you get waving like that, what's happening is it's pulling the fabric as you're sewing. So if you feed the fabric through a little bit faster, it'll help hold it in rather than stretching it out as you go. And I can already tell that looks a lot better. So there's a quick tip for when you're sewing with super stretchy fabrics like this. And now we have our finished t-shirt. I have mine gathered up with a knot in the hem, so it looks a little bit shorter than it actually is, but I really love the length of this, and this is such a fun way to 
hack your patterns, and of course adjust for your specific height. So I hope you found this video helpful in learning how to lengthen and shorten your patterns and make sure to share your sews in our Facebook group. See you next time.